Hey guys, it's Clay. How are you all doing? I wanted to do a little tutorial video here uh, related to the X of X2 and loading some custom impulse responses. Now, uh, this actually was a little bit challenging simply because uh, the X Edit program is actually currently not available for download right now on Fractal Audio's website. If you run a Google search for X Edit, it actually, uh, there's no download available. And so, and if you go to their wiki, uh, here we are. If you go to their wiki, it says that um, if you want to load some user cab IRs, uh, one of the primary ways to do it is to use Axe Edit, but that's not available. So I had to find another way to do it. And it talks about using this MIDI utility, uh, which is crazy. I've never heard of it before, but I did some, uh, pretty much followed some directions, did some Googling, and I found out how to do it. And I wanted to share the process with you guys if you're trying to load some IRs into your Axe FX2, uh, but you can't do it because there is no X edit. Okay, so first things first is you want to locate, um, uh, you need to find some sort of ut MIDI utility program. The one that I used is called MIDI Ox. If you just do a Google search for this MIDI Ox, M I D I O X, I will include this link in the description. I chose this download right here, 7.0.2. Everything was fine. Um, but then I actually got this window right here. Um, and so when you get MIDI AUX, you need to actually make sure that you're configuring it with your XFX. In order to do that, go to Options and then go to MIDI Devices and make sure you have XFX selected here and XFX selected here. Um, so that your input and your output is your XFX2. Go ahead and hit OK. Now let's go back to our Wikipedia and let's follow the directions. Um, so the first thing we need to do is prepare the XFX2 to receive a file. Now in order to do that, open up the new preset uh, that you want to create. Go to the cab block and then um, set it as you see here. You want to make sure that it's either in mono high res mode or mono low res mode and then um, change the cab parameter to the numbered user slot you wish to load into. Okay, so that's actually fairly easy to do. If you just go to, if you hit layout um, and then highlight your cab and then go ahead and hit edit then there will be uh, two pages that you need to do. Your first page, the first val under val cab you need to make sure that it's I have mine set to um, user 1 so if you scroll a little bit over halfway you can find user 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 all the way up I just did user 1 and then if you go ahead and hit page right you can uh, select over to page 2 and that you can the first uh, thing to change there is your mode and you want that to be in mono high res or mono low res um, and that's pretty much all you need to do then just leave your XFX Edit, uh, leave your XFX2 as it is. Uh, make sure that your USB is connected. Um, so at this point, now we need to launch the MIDI utility. This is going to be our MIDI AUX. Uh, I already set it up. We already did um, configured it to make sure that it's communicating with the XFX2. Should look just like this. Everything is fine there. Now it comes to this confusing step where it says, um, you know, it just says, and send the user IR sysx file. Now this actually was totally confusing. I had no idea what to do here. So I did a Google search and um, I just did, let's see, I did a Google search here for how to send a .sysx file to MIDI AUX. Um, so basically what I have is I have some own hammer cab that I want to try out. And this is in this folder here, the own hammer public beta, uh, XFX2. And then so all these are your .syx or your sysx files. These are the cabs that you want to send. So when I clicked on this link, I got this nice PDF, and I will make sure to link this in the description, but basically it tells you how to use MIDIOX to send the sysx file. And I will just go ahead and walk you through the process now. If you go ahead and do um, view sysx, you'll get this nice window, then you'll do command window load file. I'm actually going to do another one. Um, let's go ahead and make another preset. Actually, let's just try this. I'm going to my X, my XFX, I'm going to try and go to user 2 and load in an additional one. The one I loaded in before was this one right here. Let's try uh, this one um, and go ahead and hit open. Just want to make sure my XFX is ready to receive it, and it is. Everything looks good. Um, okay, so this is the uh, sysx file. Then you want to go ahead and click command window again and send, sys, send sysx, and you'll get this file progress bar. 
At this point, you want to be watching your X of X2 in the uh, cab slot, and then right there, it, now it says uh, exactly there, the cab has been loaded. So now I have both of my cabs loaded in very, very nicely. Very exciting, uh, very happy about that. So that's pretty much it. Now the cabs are in there, they are loaded. That's pretty much all you need to do. Um, and uh, Alright, so yep, there's no need to store or otherwise commit the change. Everything is going to be good. We're done. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. So that's the that's the process. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little bit of Google searching takes you a long ways. But I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions about XFX stuff, let me know, and I will talk to you guys soon.